To create a quiz, make sure you have already created a folder and then click into the folder where you want your quiz to be located. Then use the Add Materials button to select Add Test or Quiz. Name your quiz, assign points, add a due date if you'd like, and choose one of the grading categories you created when you set up your course or create a new grading category. If you don't assign a grading category, the quiz and any questions that could be auto-graded won't be scored. Under the Advanced options, you'll see that the test or quiz defaults to Published, which allows students to see the test in the course and on the calendar if you assigned a due date. However, the students will not see the actual test questions until you change the visibility of the test, which we will talk about later in this video. In most situations, you should leave the default as published. You may wish to disable the ability for students to leave comments about the quiz. When done, click the Create button. To add a new question, click on the Add button and choose the desired question type. Currently, this feature supports the following question types. True, false, multiple choice, ordering, short answer essay, fill in the blank, and matching. Once you select a question type, you will get a rich text editor where you can add pictures, video, and text. There is also a math formula editor, and accents are available as well. The options below the question box will allow you to put in answer choices, assign the correct answer, and if you hover to the right of the answer blank, you'll see a pencil appear. If you choose that, you will get a rich text editor where you can format question answers, use the math tools, and even add in a picture as an answer. Beneath the question, you assign its point value, and each question has many options, including the option to randomize the order of the answers for that particular question, and to assign a time limit for each question. When you're done, choose Create Question. You will return to the Questions tab where you can add additional questions. The Settings tab is really important to pay careful attention to. First, it lets you enter instructions that are displayed to students before they take the test. This is also where you change the test's availability from hidden to available. Students can't take a test unless it is set to available. Similarly, you can close a test easily by changing its status back to hidden. Or, you can set it so students can access your test on a certain day or within a date range. You can enforce a time limit on the entire quiz and decide how many attempts each student may have. I recommend setting your quiz as having one question per page instead of using page breaks. First, page breaks are items that you will have to manually add in. Putting one question per page will limit the amount of scrolling your students will have to do, and if you choose the resumable option, students' answers are saved every time they go to the next question or page. Randomizing order shuffles the order of your questions, so each student will see the questions presented in a different order from his or her peers. Question review is really important to change to yes, in my opinion. It allows students to go forward and backward freely on the test before they submit it. If you leave it set at no, students will not be able to go backward in the test to review or change their answers before they submit it. Resumable is a good option to change to yes if you have a longer test. If set to yes, Schoology will save each student's progress every time they advance from one page to the next, which is helpful if someone accidentally is kicked offline. Resumable, though, is not an option if you choose to enforce a time limit on your tests. Finally, determine if you want students to view submissions. View submissions allow students to view their submissions after they have already submitted the test or quiz. If you don't want students to have access to the questions you asked on the test later, leave this set at no. Students will see their overall score, but not the test, their answers, or any comments you left on individual question answers. If you want students to be able to refer back to the test questions and any comments that you left within the test, choose yes. Selecting yes with correct answers allows students to immediately see how their answers compared with the correct auto-graded answers for the test, which is very helpful for practice quizzes. After you make changes, make sure to save them. The Preview tab lets you see the test from the student's view, and the Results tab is where you can view results, which are automatically synced with the gradebook. Questions like true-false, ordering, fill-in-the-blank, and multiple choice that you assign a correct answer to will be auto-graded. 
If you include short or long answer questions, you will need to grade only those questions before a student's final grade on the quiz is available. To change the overall points a quiz is worth based on new questions you add, use the gearbox. Unfortunately, the maximum points here for the quiz or test do not update automatically when you add or remove questions. But if you left the set at 100 and your test was only worth 20 points, student scores will be scaled accurately. So a student who earned 18 out of 20 points would get a scaled score of 90 out of 100. You can always go back to edit your quiz by clicking on its name. You can add in more questions or change answers. If you change an answer after students have already taken the quiz, students' results are regraded and quickly updated in the gradebook. Try creating a test or quiz in a practice course. Experiment with adding in various question types and adjusting the quiz settings.